Hi, welcome to Excel Academy. First, let me be done with the rant and then we'll proceed towards the questions. If you are appearing for CSEET exam for the first time and if you are wondering what kind of questions the institute has asked in the previous two exams, at least two exams have been conducted using the proctored mode, what you would do? As any sane student, you would go to icsi.edu, that is a website of our institute and then go to the CSEET section there and check if Institute has put up the questions of the previous two exams. Surprise, surprise, what will you find there? You will find nothing with regard to the previous two exams. No questions at all. Then how will you even prepare for the exams? How do you know what type of questions will the Institute even ask in the final exam? You will not. All you can do is just guess. Maybe there are videos on YouTube itself where students after writing the exams have shared those questions with others. Maybe. Uh, they have remembered or recalled those questions and then they have shared it to someone else and those people have put it up on YouTube. That is a possibility. But from the Institute, there is no credible information available with respect to previous two exams. So therefore, any type of question can be asked. Theoretically, ICSI can ask any question. The questions which they have released as sample questions are of no use. So they have not asked so far from those sample questions as far as I know. Now, in such a situation, how do we even prepare? You should remember that ICSI will not allow use of calculator nor pen and paper for calculations. Especially for a subject like logical reasoning, you will require that. But ICSI says, use your mental ability, do the calculations inside your mind, whatever it is, and try to solve the questions. With these limitations, you'll have to appear for the exam. Having said that, if you look at the pass percentage in the previous two exams, the pass percentage is generally very high compared to other competitive exams. Maybe the institute is asking very easy questions or maybe the institute is very lenient when it comes to valuation. Whatever may be the reason, you have to be prepared. So now the only way to be prepared for such an exam is to practice more and more questions. Especially for a subject like logical reasoning which is about 25% of your entire marks. The total exam is for 200 marks and 50 is devoted to this subject that is legal aptitude and logical reasoning and half of 50 is for legal aptitude and remaining half is for logical reasoning that means 25 marks. So 25 marks is no less um, thing when it comes to such an exam and you have to make sure that you score 25 out of 25 or try to score 25 out of 25 in this subject because that is achievable I believe. Now. What we will be doing in this video is this. We will be looking at a particular topic called syllogism and also another topic called coding and decoding. So we will be solving few questions from both the topics. It should act as revision, assuming you have already gone through those uh, topics by now because the exams are hardly a week away. And also you will find host of videos um, on logical reasoning which we have been making since past one year. So all the best for the exams, um, do well and if at all you are able to recall, please do share the questions with us. Maybe we will also do a video on those questions, which the ICC has been very secretive about for some reason. Now, uh, let's uh, start with syllogism. The first question here says, no window is a glass, some glasses are doors, okay, only two statements we have. See, whatever we get in the form of statements, what we should do in case of syllogism is to convert that into a Venn diagram. If you can do that, then it will be easy for you to check if the conclusions which are also part of the question are correct or not. For example, they are talking about windows and glasses. Now, what is it uh, they are saying about window and glass? They say no window is a glass. Okay, let this be a window. If this is window, they say no window is a glass. That means window and glass are two different things. If this is a window, this is a glass. No window is a glass. Now, but some glasses are doors, they say. Some glasses are doors. Now, there are three things. First is window, glass, doors. No window is a glass, so therefore there is no connection between the two. But between glass and doors, there is some connection. There is some common element. Therefore, there is an intersection between glass and doors. That is the thing. So now we are done with the statements. This is very important. If you can understand this part, the rest is actually very easy. Now what is it they are saying in the uh, case of conclusions? This we have to check now. 
नो विंडो इज ए डोर नो विंडो इज ए डोर ओके नाउ वी शुड गो बैक टू द स्टेटमेंट्स एंड चेक इफ देर इज एनीथिंग मैंशन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू विंडोज एंड डोर्स स्पेसिफिकली इज देर एनी स्टेटमेंट विच इज ऑल विंडोज आर डोर्स आर नो विंडोज आर डोर्स और सम विंडोज आर डोर्स गो बैक एंड चेक इफ यू लुक एट द स्टेटमेंट वन एंड स्टेटमेंट टू they talk about windows they talk about doors but they do not talk about windows and doors together that means there is no information with respect to statement or rather conclusion one with respect to conclusion one we do not have any information for all we know there might be some connection between windows and doors we do not know that from the statements given in case of syllogism you should always remember that you should go by the statements you should always check if there is anything related to the conclusion in the statement if there is anything related then just go by that if there is nothing related then don't assume things okay anyway so that's uh, about conclusion 1 then conclusion 2 says some doors are not windows okay some doors are not windows this we can easily conclude because some doors are glass as you can see in the shaded part some glass are doors or vice versa some doors are glass if some doors are glass and according to this first statement itself no glass is a window then it is definitely possible that some doors are not windows so therefore statement 2 or other sorry conclusion 2 is definitely possible therefore the marked answer here that is uh, the bolded one option b is in fact the correct answer only conclusion 2 follows let's move on to the second question some rulers are dancers all dancers are short okay we are talking about dancers rulers and short some rulers let this circle be rulers then we have dancers some rulers are dancers okay there is some common element here between rulers and dancers but all dancers are short they say that means whatever is dance part of dancers is part of short so there should be a bigger circle which will encompass everything related to dancers so this will be short now once again some rulers are dancers all dancers are short okay now let us come to the conclusion some rulers are short of course yes because there is some common element here if there is common element between rulers and dancers obviously there will be common element between rulers and short as well because whatever is dancer will also be part of short now first statement is definitely true sorry first conclusion is definitely true all rulers are short all rulers are short definitely not possible because there is only some common element between rulers and dancers and as a result short so therefore all rulers are short is definitely not a conclusive statement according to the diagram which we have drawn so therefore only conclusion one follows so therefore the option which is bolded there is in fact the right answer next okay next statement some peace are wars no war is an alliance only two things two statements again but three items actually peace wars and alliance okay first statement says some peace are wars that means there is some common element between peace and wars so if this is peace then there will be some common element between peace and wars so let this be p for peace and let this be wars no war is an alliance alliance is a separate thing now no war is an alliance this is the diagram as per the statements now let us look at the conclusions no peace is alliance no peace is alliance again we do not know whether it is the case or not have they mentioned anything to do with peace and alliance in a statement no they have not directly said peace has got anything to do with alliance it may be or may not be 
Now let us look at the second conclusion. At least some P's are alliances. They say none of P's is alliance. That is first statement. Then the second statement, it's actually the opposite. They say at least some of P's belongs to alliance. Now this is um, very interesting because both the possibilities cannot happen at the same time. Either some P's should be part of alliance according to conclusion one or no piece should be part of alliance both cannot be true at the same time that means either statement sorry either conclusion one or conclusion two should be true conclusion one and conclusion two cannot be true and independently also you cannot say conclusion one is true and conclusion two is wrong or conclusion two is correct and conclusion one is wrong we never know it's like this you look at the clouded skies and then think it may rain then you will also think it may not rain either it will rain or it will not rain you cannot say it will rain and it may not rain both cannot happen at the same time that's when we have to look at either or option in the answer in this case Option C, as uh, they already marked there, is the right answer. If either conclusion 1 or 2 follows. In this case, either this, that is some piece is alliance or no piece is alliance will follow. Both cannot be true at the same time. Next. Some entertainers are boring. All boring are dusty. Okay. Some entertainers, let this be E, are boring, okay. But they also say all boring are dusty. That means boring is part of a bigger circle that is uh, dusty. This is the diagram according to the statements. Now let us look at the conclusions. Some entertainers are dusty. Yeah, of course, yes, because boring and entertainers have some element in common. So therefore, if boring has something in common with entertainers, so that will also be uh, relevant for dusty as well. That means it holds good even in case of dusty. So conclusion one obviously follows. Then some entertainers, oh, that is done, no? All entertainers are dusty. All entertainers cannot be dusty. So because only some part of entertainers has got some common element with boring so therefore we cannot say everything of e is part of d no but everything of b that is b the boring is part of dusty that is true but that conclusion is not given so therefore only conclusion one follows that's about that then let's move to the next question all books are pencils no pencil is eraser okay all books are pencil no pencil is eraser okay whenever you get all and no it will be actually easy all books if this is books are pencils all the books are pencils but they say no pencil is eraser eraser is slightly out of this because there is no common element between pencil and eraser okay books is completely part of uh, what is that books is completely part of pencils but pencils have got nothing to do with eraser now let us read the conclusions the first conclusion says all the pencils are books obviously not you can see here all the books are part of pencils but all the pencils are not part of books so obviously statement a or other conclusion one will not work out then some erasers are books not possible because if pencil has got nothing to do with eraser then books which is part of the bigger circle pencil will also have nothing to do with eraser so there is nothing happening with respect to conclusion two finally they say no book is eraser no book is eraser that is true because all of book is part of pencils which has got nothing to do with eraser so therefore book will also have nothing to do with eraser so conclusion 3 is in fact true so option a which is the shaded option there that is in fact the right answer let's move on to the next one then 
we have goats tigers and lions here okay all the goats are tigers all the tigers are lions hmm. okay let's start with goats all the goats if you call this as goats are tigers whatever is goat is part of tiger and all the tigers are lions so it's part of a bigger circle now called lion now let us look at the conclusions all the goats are lions okay true if all the goats are tigers then all the goats will also be lions because whatever is tiger is lion so whatever is goat will also indirectly be lion that conclusion one follows then conclusion two all the lions are goats the reverse is not true if you look at this goats is a small circle part of the bigger circle of lions all goats will obviously belong to lion but all lion will not be goat then conclusion 2 therefore does not follow conclusion 3 some lions are goats huh that is true because this is the entire lion let me use a different shade now if this is lion some part of that red shade you can see is intersecting with goat so therefore some goats sorry some lions are goats is definitely true some tigers are goats that is also possible if i remove this and use a different shade now let's say white shade so some tigers are also goats if you look at the tiger now which is the shaded part it also intersects with the ghost sorry goats circle so therefore some tigers are also goats so that also holds good that means conclusion one is correct conclusion two definitely not correct conclusion three follows conclusion four also follows so option uh, which is that c is in fact the right answer all phones are scales all scales are calculators all phones are scales okay are scales and all scales are calculators so if this is a phone all phones are scales this is scale and all scales are calculators this is the diagram for the statements now let us look at the conclusions all the calculators are scales no only some calculators are scales if you look at the shaded part all the calculators are definitely not scales only some of those are scales so statement one is sorry conclusion one is definitely not correct then all the phones are calculators all the phones are calculators true why all the phones are scales then all the scales are calculators so therefore all the phones will automatically be part of calculators statement two follows then statement three all the scales are phones again that is also not possible because phone is part of the bigger circle scale not the other way around so statement three doesn't follow statement four says some calculators are phones some calculators are phones yeah that is possible because if i had to use a different color so if i consider this as calculators you can notice that there is some intersection with phone that means some part of the calculator is part of phone as well so that is true that means statement two and four follows next the last one all green are blue all blue are white only two statements okay fine so all let me change the color here all green are blue that means this will be green and this will be blue all blue are white part of a bigger, bigger circle white so now let us read the conclusions some blue are green some blue are green some blue are green that is true if you look at the shaded part here some part of blue is part of the green as well so statement two conclusion one follows some white are green that is also true 
some part of white is part of a green then some green are not white okay if i have to check the diagram now they say some green are not white all of green is blue all of blue is white that means whatever is green is blue whatever is blue is white automatically whatever is green will also be equal to white therefore conclusion 3 which says some green are not white doesn't follow last conclusion all white are blue again that is also not possible all blue is part of white but the reverse is definitely not true so that's about the syllogism questions what i uh, hope to do here was give you a brief idea about the kind of questions which are usually asked in syllogism and how to solve them there are different ways of solving syllogism questions but i believe this um, representation through venn diagrams is the most easiest way to solve you don't have to draw this you will have to just imagine this in your head and then look at the conclusions and then see whether the conclusions actually follow or not i hope it was useful now let us move towards the next topic that is coding and decoding okay now let us uh, look at the coding and decoding questions the first question says in a certain code language the word numerical is written as l m u i r e a c n okay from that only we can make out that numerical is jumbled up there how will the word published be written in the language okay we have to draw numerical and as well as the jumbled word so if i have to draw numerical here numerical now that is written as l m u i r e a c n so one thing which we can easily make out here is uh, that the first and the last letters are interchanged l has gone here and n has come here right so that is evident then the second and the third letters are also interchanged uh, u here m here so that we have identified same with the last three letters uh, that is ca and ac last uh, second and third letter from the last now we are left with the middle most letters that is e r i is written as i r e e goes here r remains as it is i comes here so we have cracked the code now we have to apply the same logic for the word which is asked in the question what is that published okay let me write that first okay we have written the word published so what we have to do now is write p at the end d in the beginning b will come here so b u will come here u h will go here and e will come here and the middle most letters uh, s i l so the answer will be this d b u s i l e h p do we have that as answer d b u s i l e h p i think option d is in fact the right answer d b u s i l e h p fine then let's move on to the next question in a certain code language the word standing is written as nats g i g n i d okay how will the word produces be written in that language okay stan ding is written as nats nit of course you can once again make out that the words are jumbled up and we are not actually using some other letters so s is here n is here t is here a e is here that means first four letters are reversed last four letters are also reversed d goes here g comes here n comes here and i goes there so that's all we have to do this is actually very easy uh, let's quickly crack this okay produces right p r o d u c e s so d o r p s e c u that's it d o r p s e c u option c is in fact the 
right answer d o r p prod uses u c e s okay done next moving on if gold is coded as home co come is coded as done cord is coded as cord how would you code sons okay this uh, looks confusing but it is not so anyway let's see gold they say is coded as home okay what is the connection that is what we have to find out here mm. after g what is that you have in the alphabets after g we have uh, h then o remains as it is o remains as o after l we have m after d we have e that means plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 except for the second letter okay same thing with the comment done after c we have d o remains as it is second letter m n and last letter remains as it is in case of come and done okay fine then in case of cord i think the done is not the right word anyway let's look at the next one cord is coded as uh, what is that cord c remains as it is o remains as it is how have they coded it as cord hmm actually that is also not correct cord should be not coded as cord cord should be something else cord if you have to go by this logic will be d o yes dose okay then how would you code sons okay sons would be coded as correct me if i'm wrong i think cord should be coded as dose then sons should be coded as uh, rst o remains as it is l m n o s t again t o o t that's it option b is in fact the right answer okay i think so yeah let's move on okay if air is called green green is called blue blue is called sky sky is called yellow yellow is called water water and water called water and water is called pink and then what is the color of clear sky this is very easy actually what is the color of clear sky actually clear sky's color is blue that we already know what is blue called that is the thing which we have to find out don't read anything else blue is called what sky so the color of sky will be sky in this question because sky refers to blue so option b is in fact the right answer then in a certain code a number 13479 is written as a q f j l and 5268 okay is written as d m p n okay okay right 1 a q f l d m p n a q f l is written as 13479 in i missed one letter i guess a q f j l d m p n is written as 5268 now how is 396824 written 3 means q 9 is l 6 would be p 8 would be n 2 would be m 4 would be f so that means uh, what do we start with 3 right q Three nine six eight two four. That means Q L P N M and F. So option Q L P N M F. So option B is in fact the right answer. Next. if england is written as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and france is written as 7 8 5 2 9 okay england is written as 1 2 3 4 5 2 6 6 okay common therefore 2 uh, is getting repeated france is written as 
सेवन एट फाइव टू नाइन वन अगेन इफ यू लुक एट दिस ई इज वन इन इंग्लैंड ई इज वन इन फ्रांस एज वेल एंड एन इज टू इन इंग्लैंड एन इज टू इन फ्रांस एज वेल दैट मीन्स दे आर फॉलोइंग द सेम कोडिंग सो देन वॉट वुड बी ग्रीस ऑल दैट वी हैव टू डू इज जस्ट कंबाइन बोथ एंड देन वील गेट द एंसर जी जी इज थ्री अकॉर्डिंग टू इंग्लैंड रूल then r would be 8 e would be 1 1 c would be 9 and 1 so 3 8 1 1 9 option b is in fact the right answer so that's all for today i hope uh, this uh, session was useful if at all you have any doubts please do uh, drop your doubts in the form of questions uh, comments below so that uh, i can get back to you or if you have any suggestions please do let us know with respect to cseet logical reasoning or any other subject for that matter all the best for the exams do well